so you were doing lots of traveling. You were kind of working in between traveling and kind of just making enough money to survive and, and do your trips. Um, how did you make your first dollar online? Like, how did you go from that type of lifestyle to thinking, hold on, I can I can make some money online here and not have to work? Um, how did how did you come across that? Was it was it the typical way people do where they they literally Google like how do I make money online, or or did did you stumble into it another way? I literally I was in uh, like I said um, on one of those trips the epiphany came to me I need to do something differently right. And so I was living in Egypt and I was working as a dive master and just taking people scuba diving, you know, almost every single day. And I was like, all right, I, I can't, like, I can't go back to plumbing. I, you know, I've done this yeah. cycle of save up, go work, or save up it from work, go travel and then come home with little money and go, all right, I need to, you know, I need to do the plumbing thing again. Like I can't, I can't go back to that lifestyle. Like I can already see that I'm running away from my life that I created. So I need to create a yeah. better life. And so the, I was like, all right, I could go away and travel and get a job everywhere I go. And I know that I can do that through being a surf coach or uh, sco- you know, being a dive master, or even if I became a, a snowboard instructor, which I thought about doing. And yeah, I was like, well, then I'm going to need to apply for a job, get a job every single place that I go. And, you know, I'm going to be out of money for a certain period whilst I travel and it's not going to pay very well. And I thought, well, how can I keep traveling and make money? And uh, that's what I did. I was like, well, sure, I can do something online. And a lot of people like I've been talking about is like, yeah, we need to get online to like make an income online because that's like, you know, that's where things are going. Like that's yeah. the internet. That's what, you know we can use this as a tool. And so I was like, all right, I. These were other travelers saying that, right? Other travelers and, and friends at home as well, who were travelers, you know, too, okay. uh, and are travelers. And so I was like, all right, I did, I did. I, I grabbed my, my MacBook and I was like, all right, how to travel the world and make money online. So it wasn't just like how to make money online, but I did use Google and I did search how to travel the world and make money online. And what popped up was travel blogs. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And it was overwhelming. I was like, all right, cool. And being in my nature, when I'm going to do something, I'm doing it. Like it's, it's done. It's happening. Uh, so I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm going to pick one thing and I'm doing it. And I found it. I was like, all right, travel blogging. I love traveling. I love talking about traveling. I can do this without having to like come home and share my stories with my friends who actually don't want to hear about it. Cause the, the whole jealousy thing and stuff like that. Like, and plus when you go home and you have all these stories, people, want to hear hear about it or like want you to say some things just to be like yeah cool i'm a good friend and like i've you know you know i'm happy you had a good trip but like deep down you don't want to hear about somebody's amazing story when you're like itching to get away so i couldn't really share my experiences yeah. of travel with my friends anyway so i could do it on paper and and blog about it and so that was a real struggle like to answer your question how did i make my first all online was took me a long time with uh, travel blogging and I realized travel blogging just wasn't going to get me to where I wanted to be income wise or replace my income as a plumber because everybody with an iPhone, you know, everybody with an iPhone was going to become a travel blogger. Everybody that, you know, Instagram started blowing up and people would consume content on Instagram more than the reader travel blog. Um, So I was doing travel photography, all that sort of stuff, but I made a couple of dollars through, travel blogging and I thought if travel blogging isn't going to work because the competition's so high, then I need to go away and create like a, I need to sell products. Like I need to sell some products online. So yeah. I was like, all right, I'm going to become a drop shipper. So I started my own drop shipping company and made a couple of dollars okay. through that, sold a few things, uh, still struggled. Like I, I admittedly, like I, it was, I knew nothing about digital marketing. So I started up a store and if you build it, they won't come. Mm-hmm. Like it's not what people say is you, you need to have <laughs> an audience. not what they say, yep. Yeah. You need to have an audience and you need to be able to market to that audience and connect with that audience and, and provide value to them through your products. And I didn't even know anything about digital marketing, paid ads or anything like that. So it was a great thing for me to start this and realize that I was a complete rookie. So I knew a lot about SEO and then I started learning a little bit about digital marketing and that's what led me to um, the, the buying business.